everybody it's ivy welcome back to my channel guys Woo. i know i know i know i know long time no see welcome back guys um yeah it's, i'm so happy to see your faces um so let's come back to you all with a favorites Woo. i know i know i know i know boo me all you want but um i had another plan i was going to do a get ready with me but i already have a full face of makeup on and I don't want it to get dark. I have free time. So why not just film for you guys and get back into the swing of things. So to do that, we're going to do a favorite. Let's get started. The first favorite I have is Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Um, I've been really loving this to use every day. If you guys remember from my old videos or even um, if you just go to my old Instagram. I used to use Anastasia Pomade and then I used to use Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, or Brow Wiz as well, and then I switched to just using my Maybelline Brow Mascara for a good couple of months And I don't know who let me walk around with sparse tails because I'm my eyebrows are like very full here But very sparse here. So whoever allowed that why? Um, so I, I decided to jump the gun and buy this one um, I love the consistency of this um, as you can tell I already filmed this video <laughs> Um, wow, I could have at least erased it. But as you can see from this swatch, um, it's a very much waxy cons consistency. Um, it's similar to the Brow Wiz by Anastasia, but I feel like this one is more waxy. Uh, you also get a spoolie on the, on the other end. But I really love this. It stays on for so long. I use this with a mixture of my Maybelline Brow Mascara as well. So they just work as a magic pair together. The next product that I've been adoring is the Pacifica Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strope. Got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag, I believe, last month, and I've been loving it. It looks like this, and then when you, if I swatch it for you, it comes out like this white cream, but then when you blend it in, it leaves this beautiful sheen. It has this more of this purple tone to it, so I have it on right now, right there. I know, I know, very beautiful. Um, so I just love to apply this every day, even if I'm not wearing foundation. I just apply it, like, pop it right here, 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 and in the inner corner of my eyes. And I've been loving it for every day. It's a beautiful, natural look, and it makes your highlight look poppin'. The next product that I've been loving is my go-to mascara. This has become my holy grail mascara and a staple in my makeup. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Mascara. It's this green tan bottle and has this green leaf at the top. The thing I love about this mascara is the most is the, the brush of it, but I believe also the formula. The brush itself is, it tapers in and out, um, and it also, the bristles are very um, defined. You can see them. And so the way this mascara works for, best for me is because I already have long eyelashes. I know, I don't mean to brag, but... Uh, since I already have long eyelashes, some mascaras can actually make my eyelashes too heavy and droopy and clumpy. What I love about this one, it's like lightweight formula. It really gets in between your eyelashes, doesn't clump, it combs through them, and it gives them the length that you want and you need. So, I have it on right now, and look at it. I know. Amazing, amazing. So, it's definitely become a staple in my makeup piece. It's a little bit expensive. It's around $15 to $17, depending on where you buy it from. But honestly, I love it so much. I'm willing to splurge any amount on it. The last makeup I have is this Daisy and Pearl Natural Radiance Booster. This I got in my February Ipsy Glam Bag. Uh, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of Ipsy stuff because I rarely go to Sephora anymore, guys. I literally depend on Ipsy to send me new products to try out. And if I need to, I'll go buy like a foundation and a concealer. But that's literally all I spend my money on. Um, so this is by the Seraphine Botanicals. This is their amplifier. This is in the shade Radiance Natural. And it looks like this. Now, normally I would never go for this shade at all. It looks kind of like this murky brown color. But when you actually swatch it, it leaves this beautiful sheen to it. It's really like lightweight. You can barely see the sheen. But look at it. It's beautiful. So I actually applied it just all over the apples of like my cheeks and it gives this like nice golden sheen to it and I can't imagine this summer with like how tanned skin it will look like beautiful that's it for makeup I'm gonna move on to some hair products so what I first have here is this mixed chicks deep conditioner this nourishes tangles and restores your hair health um, this consistency is very different from any ones I've tried before 
it's more of like a thick porridge consistency very thick very gloopy consistency so when you apply it you literally apply not the tiniest amount but a good i'd say like two dollars amount like two toonies like in the size so like about that much to each hair and then i apply it run it through each side of my hair let it sit for about five minutes and then i rinse it out and your hair feels amazing i really love this brand i recently just got into them and i can't believe they exist because i wanted it all natural based um shampoo and conditioner and this does the job amazingly um it is more expensive it is very much on the expensive side it's around twenty dollars per pot but uh, i got this on sale for 550 so um i scored the same brand i have the mixed chick shampoo now this is mainly to remove buildup of your hair and when i tell you guys that i have never had a shampoo take such a fast effect on my hair usually the the one i use usually is the maui um chemical color treat one it's like the red bottle if i can do i'll even put a picture um but i've been using that one and usually it takes that a couple while it took about a month or so for me to see a really big difference in my hair love that shampoo still but this one i used for the first time a couple days ago and i you know lathered it in and i went to go rinse it out and i felt such a difference just rinsing it out for the first time ever and i loved it so much that i literally went and bought whatever was left in my store stock. Um, they were all $6 each. Again, 20 per pop, very expensive. But if you can find them on sale, very much worth it. Um, so yeah, I literally have two more shampoo bottles like this standing around in my bathroom storage waiting to be used when I run out of the other one. And I really recommend Mixed Chicks. I mean, sponsor me. I mean, I love you guys. This hair product I have is a dry shampoo. This is from Laboratory laboratories chlorine um this is i literally don't know what language is it i think it's french probably so this is a dry shampoo with nettle it's oil absorbing for oily brown to dark hair cleanse cleans hair without water now i love this um i've never had a dry shampoo work ama so amazingly um this beats batiste out of the water i've only used the tiniest amount spray it like this about this far away um let it sink in for two minutes. That was that's what the back end of the instructions say. So that's what I do, and then I just brush it through. And I don't have to wash my hair every other day, guys, anymore. Not with this baby. I literally let use it, and then I wash my hair like every like four days or so. Honestly, an amazing product. It doesn't create that much of a buildup either. Like usually the Batiste would, and usually the Batiste I would have to go in throughout the second time throughout the day. This one I don't. I use it once, and I'm good for the rest of the day. Um, I love it. It's honestly amazing. I don't know what they use in here. Apparently, it's all natural. This also is about $12 to $15 a pop. Again, very expensive, but I got it on sale for about $5. Um, so I really scored with these. Um, they're amazing, and I will be repurchasing them definitely. Now, the last product I have here is actually a brand new purchase. I literally bought it yesterday, but I loved it so much that I had to show it to you guys. This is from Pure Home Couture Apothecary. This is their number 56 candle. Um, this is in the, sh the, I was gonna say the shade. I am not makeup in right now. Um, this is in the scent Prosecco. Um, I don't know what Prosecco is. I believe it's a flower. Don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure. But, um... What ended up happening is that me and my friend went out yesterday and we stumbled upon the sto this store. And we were walking around. First of all, the store is aesthetically pleasing so much. Loved it. But I've been loving their scents. And this is a 100% soy candle. Um, it's a small batch. It's hand poured. They're all like naturally made. Um, this burns for about 60... No. 30 hours. I love this candle. The first time I burned it, it literally took only about 10 to 15 minutes to take effect and it's lit up. This The smell lit up my whole room, including the living room. It wafted all the way into the living room. I literally burned this for only 30 minutes max and I let the wax um, kind of just harden up and because there's a lot of essential oils in this, the wax itself stays liquidy and runny for a good amount of time. And I literally have no other words for this besides it is amazing. Uh, it is, again, 
a little bit more expensive side it's twenty dollars per pot for a candle when you we got this on sale because they had a 25 percent off yesterday which is like it was meant to be um, so i ended up getting it for 15 dollars with tax it was around 18. amazing i love it i will definitely be repurchasing more they have more shades in there again they have like perfumes oil diffusers they're amazing i will be repurchasing a thickery sponsor me but yeah guys that was all it for my video i really hope you guys enjoyed it sorry it took me so long to come back here but hopefully i'm not gone for too long again um, like I said, hopefully I'll get a camera and actually start filming and vlogging for you guys, especially when the weather gets nicer. Um, I won't promise to be back anytime in the next week or so, but um, hopefully the next month. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to quote anything. Maybe I will film my birthday weekend for you guys and getting my hair done because I plan on chopping this baby and going just dark brown. So I plan on chopping it like about here. I know, very big move, very big move. I've never had like short hair up to here, so... We'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this and joining me with me again. And for sticking around and still being subscribed. Um, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.